Hello, friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. I want to make sure that you are following our Instagram page for Kid Short Stories because we are giving away a ton of really cool stuff this month. So make sure you head on over and subscribe or follow to our Instagram page, Kid Short Stories. Today's story comes to us from Juniper Cassidy, Gemma, and Violet. Hey guys, they sent me an awesome idea for a story and you can too. Just head over to our website, kidshortstories.com and send me your idea. Maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. Are you guys ready for today's story? Me too. Let's go. It was a beautiful day and Juniper, Cassidy, Gemma, and Violet were all playing in the backyard, having a great, great day. Hey guys, come over here. Look what I built. Violet had built a giant fort made of a whole bunch of branches that had made almost like a teepee, and they could all fit inside. This is awesome, said Cassidy. I just love it so much. Gemma and Juniper both loved all the branches and leaves. It was fall, so all the leaves were different colors, which made the teepee absolutely amazing. I'm going to go grab a blanket inside and bring it out so we can lay it down on the bottom. As Gemma ran off inside, the three, Juniper, Cassidy, and Violet, all huddled inside. (gasps) As Gemma was inside grabbing that blanket, she heard their spy beeper beeping. She grabbed the walkie and ran outside back to the teepee. Hey, everyone, listen to this. As she pushed the button on the walkie, it played the message. Hello, Juniper, Cassidy, Gemma, and Violet. We have an urgent emergency that we need your help on. There is a very rare stinky crystal that we have hidden away in a castle in the mountains. Unfortunately, Dr. Stinky Breath and the Purple Ninjas are getting closer. If they capture the stinky crystal, it means the world will be stinky. We cannot let this fall into the wrong hands. Please follow the coordinates and guard the stinky crystal for us. Over and out. <gasps> oh no! You, the stinky crystal? Have you ever? Have I ever told you about the stinky crystal? Yes! The stinky crystal, I know it sounds strange that we would need to guard the stinky crystal, but it's because it's so powerful. You see, this crystal has the ultimate stink smell inside of it. And if someone breaks it open with a hammer... It will completely fill our planet with the worst smell ever. It's basically Dr. Stinky Breath's ultimate dream come true if he's able to smash that crystal. Well, you heard HQ. Let's go grab our gear and our jetpacks. Come on, said Cassidy, leading the way. The four of them ran inside and grabbed all their spy gear and some clothes because it sounds like they're going to be off at this castle for quite some time. This is going to be pretty awesome, said Juniper. I've always wanted to go to a real castle before. This is a pretty awesome mission that HQ is trusting us with. I know, it's going to be so great. I can't wait to go, said Violet. Is everyone ready? Yep, I'm all ready to go. As the four of them blasted off. They all zoomed through the clouds, following the coordinates all the way to the castle. The castle was high up on a snowy, cold mountain. As the wind blew, the four girls finally arrived. All right. Now, uh, how about Juniper Cassidy? You two, you stand guard by the door and just make sure no one gets in. Me and Violet will be down by the crystal, and those will be our stations. Sound good? Sounds like a great plan. Let's go, said Cassidy. The four of them split into two teams. That was a pretty good plan, to have two of them at guard by the door, and then the other two down by the crystal. The four of them all got the same message as they reached for their walkie and pressed the button. Hello, this is HQ again. We've actually come up with an updated plan. We just need you to make sure that the crystal stays safe for the next two days because we're going to be moving it to an undisclosed secure location 
that Dr. Stinky Breath and his team will never find. So just make sure that the crystals stay safe over the next two days, and everything will go according to plan. Over and out. Shh. Aw, man, said Juniper. We're only going to be at the castle for two days? I packed for two months. <laughs> two months? Yelled Cassidy. Holy smokes, you got a lot of clothes in there. Yeah, well, I really wanted to stay in this castle a while, laughed Juniper. All right, well, everyone to your positions. How does the gem look, Violet and Gemma? Yelled Juniper over the walkie-talkie. Shh, while we're just getting down here, we haven't seen the... Oh, no. Everyone get down here, yelled Violet on the walkie. All four of them ran downstairs to where the crystal was hidden. Everyone, look at this. Violet was standing there pointing to where the crystal was. But it was gone. And the room that the crystal was hidden in had been broken into from underground. There was a tunnel through the floor. You don't think the purple ninjas dug through here already, do you? I think that's exactly what has happened said Cassidy. Look down that tunnel. As they shone their flashlights down the tunnel, they saw a whole bunch of purple footprints. Oh no! If the crystal is stolen by the purple ninjas, he's gonna bring it to Dr. Stinky Breath! What are we gonna do? shouted Juniper. Well, girls, put your headlamps on because we are going tunnel exploring. Let's go! Cassidy was the first one to jump into the tunnel, followed by Gemma, Juniper, and Violet. Holy smokes, this adventure has taken a wild turn. They're no longer guarding the crystal, but they now need to go rescue it from the purple ninjas. Ha 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 ha! Purple ninjas, that is fantastic that you have been able to find and steal the stinky crystal. Bring it back to the blimp as soon as you can, so I can smash it. (laughs) Oh no! The purple ninjas have stolen the stinky crystal, which means if Dr. Stinky Breath is able to smash it, the entire world will smell of absolutely stinky forever! Are these four spies going to be able to save the day and time? Or is Dr. Stinky Breath going to be able to smash the Stinky Crystal? I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Short Stories. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid shout outs i want to say hey to esmeralda from california levi from michigan lillian and naomi from Asheville, north carolina marianne and jenna from ontario lillian emmy from utah henry from texas and jonah from ontario i'm so glad that you're all on the kid short stories family and on our spy team we could not stop dr stinky breath and his crew without you my friends well you have a super duper day <laughs> And I will see you on our next adventure. Bye!